Meet the mother of all mega movers, the Panama Canal. For a century, it's been the shipping shortcut around the world. Ships the size of skyscrapers, hauling massive loads and facing tight deadlines. They're jam-packed in one of the world's busiest waterways, the Panama Canal. Nearly 200 million tons of goods, from food to electronics to fuel, cross this narrow waterway each year. Sliced through Central America, the canal links the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Instead of a four-week trek around South America, vessels cut across in 10 hours. But that's not all. This engineering marvel does something unbelievable. It lifts ships 85 feet up and over a mountain range. The man-made passage is one massive mega mover. Powered by an ingenious lock system and a team of mighty machines. Stretching 50 miles, it boosts ships nearly eight stories and across an entire country. Two lanes, each made up of three narrow lock chambers, lift or lower ships on each side. In between the locks, vessels must tackle sprawling Gatun Lake and the snake-like Gaylard Cut. But the canal is more than a shortcut. It's also a business. And these ships are the customers, paying up to a quarter of a million dollars for one-day transit. But the aging canal is facing its biggest challenge in a century, keeping up with modern-day demand. The number of ships using it has skyrocketed from 1,000 a year in 1914 to 14,000 today. Delays and congestion are common. Each of the three lock chambers stretches a thousand feet, nearly long enough for the Eiffel Tower to lie flat. Some locks are so high, six tractor trailers could sit atop each other. And a single chamber can pack in nearly 3,000 school buses. When they were built, the locks were the world's largest, but today's vessels, like the Medi, stretch them to their limits. The canal must call in a team of men and machines to position the Medi perfectly. 6 a.m., the canal's elite pilots take the helm. They must train for eight years before navigating this tricky waterway. 